Hey folks, welcome to the rooftop. Trevor here. Uh, I'm going to do something today I haven't done before. I brewed this mosaic pale ale and just kegged it about three days ago. And I just finished another um, IPA that uh, is using mosaic as well. And I was going to use uh, Y Yeast 1056 in this beer anyway. And I decided, hey, I've, I've kept this yeast cake. So I think I'm just going to pitch the beer out right on top of this yeast cake. So open this up so you can see. There you go. I'm gonna pick. Okay, so we're racking this right on top of the of that yeast cake. Uh, we got it down to about 79. Maybe a little hotter than we would like, but I think we're still our yeast is still gonna be okay. So I'm really excited to see just how quickly fermentation kicks off and uh, how, how the beer ultimately turns. It's been about six hours, and fermentation certainly has already kicked off. I actually think it kicked off within about an hour. Of, of racking that beer onto that yeast cake. Um, I've got a tilt hydrometer in here. So when this is all done, I'll take a look at it. I'll show you guys what, um, you know, when fermentation actually kicked off and how vigorous it was compared to some of the other beers. Just keg the beer that was racked onto the yeast cake. And I am just really kind of mesmerized or shocked by just how much <laughs> yeast there is um that's my dry hopper there so you mean this that entire cone there you can see it's a good half gallon there's nothing but yeast so i thought it'd be interesting after this now that this beer is fermented out to take a look at some of the data that the hydrometer the tilt hydrometer captured now the first reading was taken here right around three o'clock Unfortunately, on the 18th, unfortunately, there wasn't another reading between that and eight hours later at near midnight. But there's a, obviously a big difference here between the, uh, the gravity readings, 1059 versus uh, 1045. So I think it already kicked off pretty quick and obviously being, was already pretty vigorously fermenting uh, the beer at this point. So... Um, you know, when we get down here to some of the data, you know, with this was on, oh, sorry, this was on the uh, 18th and, you know, half day, let's say, uh, a little less than. And then by, you know, 1021, um, it was, uh, so right about, you know, three days exactly, this thing had completely fermented out. So incredibly fast fermentation by pitching on that yeast cake that had so much yeast uh, that it already multiplied, multiplied and propagated. Um, other thing that I noticed here, the apparent attenuation, very, very high at 86%. Um, you typically, you know, 80% is about uh, the highest I see uh, on a lot of beers, but 86 is, is pretty high. Uh, the chart here shows, you know, kind of the same thing. You know, it, here we had a really vigorous start on the, the 19th, which is basically the, the you know, one o'clock in the morning or after midnight on the 18th. And then at, you know, at this point, we've completely firmed it out to uh, 10 to below six. So I think if you can get away with, you know, not having contamination, which in this beer we did not, and you can keep that yeast safe for a couple of days and you've got a beer that you can uh, rack around top of that yeast cake, I think it's a great idea. Clearly I've gotten some pretty exciting results here and I plan to do this in the future. Uh, remember, if you uh, like this video, click like. If you like the videos overall, you know, please subscribe so you can see when the next one comes out. And you can find all of the videos, all of my uh, brewing notes, and everything else on welcometotherooftop.com. Thanks.